How's everybody doing, my data derelict friends? <laughs> Thanks for joining me to talk about the performance detail uh, for the eMove Touring. And this is going to be a little discussion between the two year models, the changes mostly from performance, um, and some details on this one. And I'm going to unveil a little section in the back that's going to be me kind of complaining about the scooter. I'm going to call it the bitch sesh. And uh, so I'm trying to make the first video a little more positive, and then the second video I can, I can give you the down and dirty. So let's just dig into the numbers. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is range, and that is most intricately tied to the battery, which was changed on the E-Move Touring to an LG cell battery. Same capacity, 48 volts, 13 amp hours. So uh, when I tested the previous version of the scooter, at um, I consider kind of a commuting speed, which is 15 to 20 miles per hour. Um, that was, I got a little, just barely over 24 miles of range with the per, uh, previous scooter. And that, that matched Emu's claim on the website, which is, I think it's advertised either 24 or 25 miles. And so that, I thought that was, that really impressed me because up to that point, I've been one of the few scooters that matched its range claims at any sort of speed. Um, so then I tested the current, this LG battery, and I got 21.8 miles uh, in that same mode. Um, you know, there can be some variables related to yeah, the conditions on that day that I can't really, I couldn't really take into effect with this. Still, it's pretty good, almost 22 miles, but kind of surprising that the generic cells did better. All right, so my second range test was in on both of these was in speed mode three, trying to maxim maintain maximum speed the entire time. On the previous iteration of the scooter, I was able to get between 12 and a half and 15 and a half miles of range in that scenario. Now on this scooter now with the LG cell battery, I was able to get, this really surprised me. I got 19.25 miles of range at the maximum speed. The, the difference between the mode two and mode three range kind of blows me away. So it appears to me these LG cells, I was a little skeptical how great it would help if it helped performance. It, it seems to. So I gotta, that's, that's good to know for me in the future and for all of you. Top speed, I really didn't see a difference. Uh, I had 20.8 on my ride on, with the previous battery and I got, a couple times where it barely ticked over 21 miles per hour with the LG battery. So I kind of think the top speed is kind of a wash, but at higher speed range, this LG battery is definitely an improvement. I recharge the batteries with a kilowatt meter so I know how much wattage it takes to recharge so I can arrive at some sort of efficiency reading. Um, the efficiency of the LG batteries seems to be, uh, let's see, I'm looking at my data here. For, this is kind of an odd thing because sometimes the efficiency is affected by the, the charger. So I noticed this charger seemed to be getting really hot. I was using a lot more power to recharge than I think it should have been. Um, so I'm not sure if that was charger related. But the efficiency seems to be, it's in the ballpark of each other, somewhere in the 30, 25 to 35, 30 uh, watt hours per mile, which is sort of average for what I see on a kind of a mid-level single motor scooter. Uh, dual motor scooters you start getting in the higher 30s, 40. Uh, lower wattage scooters are kind of in the 20s. Um, it's pretty pretty unusual to see a efficiency for a scooter that's anywhere under. Um, I'm going to see what my lowest was. Basically about 15 watt hours per mile is about the lowest I've seen on any scooters. Those are usually 36 volts, 250 watts. So uh, efficiency wise, the battery seems to be similar for whatever reason, the recharging is taking more power. Could be the charger. Right, so next I'm diving into acceleration. What I do is I set up cones at 100 feet apart. I wear my camera and I do the run four times and I use the camera because I can get a more precise time with the frames per second. I'm using the camera and so I can see where I cross the line. So that's how I do it. I do four and I average those. Um, so there was a little bit of a difference between the uh, older and the newer uh, Touring. The 2020 the LG battery, we got 
So a 6.49 seconds to 100 feet previous battery, 6.38 for this battery. So about a tenth of a second faster. It doesn't really feel faster, but data wise it shows that this battery is slightly faster. Uh, on the braking side of things, my braking results were 20.4 feet for the previous version and 21.9 for this one. So somewhere in the order of a foot and a half longer to stop. And I think some of that is due to, it weighs about a pound more. Um, could have been me on the day as well. That's not a significant difference. And uh, other than that, I do the same thing. I do, I get up to 15 miles per hour using the display speed and I brake, try to do minimize wheel spin and I do four of those tests. So the last performance thing we're talking about is the hill climb. This one might have been the interesting, most interesting, or interestingest <laughs> one to me yet. 7.3 seconds on the previous cruiser, I mean touring, geez Louise, touring, 17.4 on this one. Uh, it, it's interesting when you see it, it was slightly faster in acceleration, and, but slightly slower on a hill climb, which is a little more time to climb. It's still very close numbers, and but I think those combined kind of show to me maybe a little better the way this battery works with the motor and everything it does it just a tad better so you get more high speed performance a little more speed but it's so it's running a little more efficiency at speed I think and then yeah, I think that translates into the kind of longish hill climb uh, though generally these 8 inch tires are about the best you can get on a so basically smaller tires really help out on hill climbing on electric scooters when you're doing dealing with a single motor. Um, so this is a pretty good hill climber, especially for a 500 watt, 48 volt scooter. All right, so now to my bitch sesh. I, you know, I don't really enjoy some of the, I'm gonna scoot this scooter over here. Some of this stuff, I just not am the biggest fan. Uh, it just, it has a cheap appearance and I've, as a dealer for Vora Motors, I've replaced a fair number of these. They tend to go bad fairly often on this and other scooters. Um, though I do, on the other hand, in the, whatever the opposite of this kind of sesh is, is I, um, I do like having a horn, the two horn options. I think that's cool. Um, my other complaint is the noise. It's just, it's just loud. And this scooter doesn't have very many miles on it. I could probably WD-40 it all over play, the place and maybe it'd be quieter. But then I got to deal with it kind of dripping. And I, it's, so it's just frustrating to have a scooter this new that squeaks that much. If, if noise is an issue to you. And I tend to listen because I like to listen for uh, changes in braking and the way things are performing. So I, my ears probably a little more sensitive than somebody else's might be. And, and the last one I'm going to complain about are the small tires. Um, and I'm going to do a little illustration here of why this is weird to me. So this is an E-Move Cruiser tire. This is a 09 tire, 8.5 inch tire, but the effective diameter is more like 9 inches. Um, and I'm going to pull the old touring up here. And you can see, you can just see side by side by side there. Um, that smaller, yeah, this is hard to hold this way. Ay, ay, ay. Um, but I, I, a little bigger tire size would help a lot of things off of this scooter. I think it would help with ride. Um, I think it would help with a little bit better, a little bit off-road capability. Realize there's a pretty good way I can demonstrate how this, the eight inch tire, you know, why I think it would be better if it was a little bit larger tire. And so I'm going to just push with one hand through this gravel. And it's pretty loose gravel. You can see there's a couple of tire tracks. And you can kind of see it's hanging up to the point where it's almost like a weird tractor pull thing. It's hanging up to the point where it starts to come up on the back wheel. So 09 stock 8.5 inch tires. It's often listed as 9 inches. But here we go. Same idea. 
I'm just going to press slowly. So while it doesn't do great, it doesn't hang, you can kind of see, it doesn't hang up quite as much. Um, so that's what you would kind of run into if you go on to some stuff that's not paved. Um, the they, inch tires will just tend to dig a little more. Those are really my big things to complain about. Um, so if you stuck around to listen to my, my yammering about data, thanks. Um, I'm going to kind of do it this way. I think it just works a little bit better for what the bulk of people want to look at and watch. So uh, if this was helpful to you, leave a thumbs up. If there's other information with other scooters that maybe I haven't even thought about presenting, let me know. I might have it. So I, I, kinda, I got spreadsheets of stuff and I'm still working on getting that on the website to share. So thanks a lot. Leave a comment if you'd like. Subscribe, all that cool stuff. Thanks a lot. Take it easy. Catch the wave. Feel the flow.